Scout laner and against a Scout or even a Vindicator, I think she'll definitely um, be in the disadvantage against those two solo laners. Um, and Magmas can easily solo against, um, say, like the Scout or the Vindicator. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Moon Queen's solo presence isn't very strong. I mean, we we used to see it before, but when the um, nerfs happened and when you know the solo heroes uh, were being picked up, that were like a really strong laning presence, um, she really just dropped off. So I think we'll we'll have to see in a trial. I don't think there's any other really way. Um, it can work. Uh, I think that would be the best situation because obviously Bombardier is going to be solo and and mostly, most probably Magmas as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. So we'll, we'll have to see how Sync decides to ultimately go with it because you could go the other way, but like you're suggesting, you know, might yeah. not be the most prevalent move on their part. So. I, I'm just, I'm just afraid. Like, like we've said before, like if Moon can get her farm, she can like absolutely dominate. And in a solo lane, I don't think she's going to be able to get that guaranteed farm. Whereas in a trial, and I think um, even if she doesn't get her farm, she will at least be involved in kills, which will give her like you know somewhat farm, which she might not be able to get in, in a single lane or a solo lane. Mm -hmm. You got Bombardier here. He went the, uh, I think he had the boots first, yeah, and he just sold them. So obviously yeah, he money back right there. It's actually yeah, a really good. Um, a good pickup now, like especially if you don't know if you're going to be going against a tri lane before, like buying those early boots, getting this early ward down. I mean, I've done it before. Like if you don't buy, don't buy boots and try and get that ward off, they're so easy to get picked off if all five like train into your jungle. So it's just safe to buy the boots. Like you can always like buy the items on this on the courier, which he has done in the end. So um, yeah, it's just it's a simple play, but it's very effective. It's just playing it safe really, and because like I've said it before, but if you can get the um, the information before um, the lanes occur, then you can obviously rotate the lanes to where exactly you want to put them on, and you'll have an advantage because then you have to switch lanes in the end. But at the moment, it looks like they're actually kind of dodging each other. It looks like, so, well, it might be a remake as well. Yeah, um, apparently there's some complaint about the lag that they're dealing with here. I mean, yeah, slap ping is a little high uh, for some reason. Server itself, not sure, but uh, I mean, we'll see. Obviously, if you're the Legion side, they don't have to, but it's, uh, you know, for courteous sake, it looks like that they are going to. Okay, so there you go. Hey, we will get to see the picks happen again. <laughs> it'll be, uh, <laughs> it'll be all picked almost likely again, so this time um, we'll make sure to get that taken care of. But yeah, so it looked like they were going aggressive, as you were saying yeah. there, and uh, is, that a, is, that, is that a wrong decision, or...? Well, I think it's. I think they both want to face each other in the trident. I think it just goes back down to uh, mind games. That oh, they might be going aggressive, okay. so you know, they're oh, they're going to be diff going defensive, and so we should you know. It just goes back to mind games. I don't think they're quote unquote trying to dodge the um the each each other's tri lanes. I think they just um you know laned it wrong in the sense that they miss each other almost. Yeah. Um, but I, I think actually, like normally in trial lanes, it's always the team that is in the short lane. Obviously, is going to have the, the the preferred advantage because you can use the pool, um, and just in the laning phase, it's just a little bit of more of an advantage. Whoever is in the safe lane, um, that's why normally you see like if there's going to be a trial lane, normally you both see teams if they if they are going to be trial lane in the in the safe lane because they want to have that advantage. Uh, but in this case, they both went aggressive, which is uh, kind of mm -hmm. unseen. But, um. <laughs> they said they're ready, and then they weren't. All right, so apparently we need to get the Mr. Snoopy in but, here. But uh, what we saw um, at the start, it was both of them. Well, I think actually Reason had uh, a dual mid and a dual, t uh, dual top, and obviously if they saw the trial, and I think the support from mid would rotate up top um, to sort of cancel out. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay, so, as you're talking about, so again, if, if, if they choose to continue to go, I mean, you know, for legitimately, legitimate sake, I will honestly hope that they do, but we'll, we'll see if they, they, they do switch things up here. Um, again, I, I, yeah, as far as the stream being caught up and everything, it's actually, I, I have it open, but it's not even caught up by any means. Not to say that the teams would, like, look at that and be like, oh, we're going to Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, just making a point, uh, you know, that is there, but, so. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, actually, if, if Zing do just still, still decide to go, like, man up aggressive and Reason decide to go man up aggressive and, like, potentially miss each other in the try line, I think it'll actually be an advantage for Zinc because I think Vindicator was in the short lane. Um, and I think Magnus was, no, it was Bombardier in the short line, so I actually don't worry about yeah. that. They're both going to be, yeah, both single or both solo lanes are going to get shut down quite effectively. Like, if Magnus is in, was in the solo lane, then obviously he's not going to really die to a trial lane, whereas Bombardier is going to die, and so is Vindicator. So, mm -hmm. uh, they're both solo lanes are going to get shut down by the trial lane, so it, it's, just, it's sort of cancelled out, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, Cause, Yeah, because if, you, if you're going to 
um, it's almost dodge a try lane with like a, an, another hero. You want to have a hero that's quite sort of slippery in a sense, like a Bubbles or a Magmus that can kind of get away quite easily. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they have uh, yeah, the scout in their short lane, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so trying to get them the ready. Yeah. ASAP here to get things going into the game and uh, get things started. So yeah, there we go. All right, so hopefully, hopefully we are going to be all good to go now as far as game number one here against Reason Gaming versus Sync Esports. Sync off to a uh, start here with the victory earlier today over The Last of Us. A strong start in the Pro League. Cycle number two, but again, the long, long season ahead of us. So um, as far as the lanes go, okay, so once again, it's going to do the same thing. Bombardier here behind the boots, gets the ward, so yep. it's deja vu here <laughs> in the end. And looks like things are going to be going to the same areas. Uh, maybe not, actually. Oh, it's just not. Empath is going bottom here. She might just be going to ward. Okay, just to ward, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, never mind. Um, yeah, because I think, yeah, Nymphora is rotating top, actually. Like, this ward is actually quite important, though, because if... If Sync do decide to go aggressive trilon, which I think they will because Panny's going top or bottom as well. I don't even know where these lanes are going. Like Moon Queen's in the jungle here. I think they're going to rotate bottom. Um, but no, this ward here actually by Adro Place is going to be quite important because once the, they've sort of dodged each other in the tri lane, the, the supports will obviously rotate and they're the first order of business will be to rotate mid to try and set up a kill. And this ward should definitely be able to spot them out uh, and sort of save the mid people from any ganks incoming. That indeed. So Moon Queen, I mean, she's kind of like, do we want to go top? Do we want to switch things yeah, up? Cool. Yeah, I think Sync's still kind of feeling it out here yeah. as far as what they ultimately want to do. But, I mean, by now, you know, again, I don't know how much scouting has been ultimately done, but, again, they're going to they're gonna go aggressive here in the end. So once these lanes kind of make up, I'm sure we'll probably see. <laughs> that's a little that's a fun BM coming out here. Um, as far as some yeah. adjustments being made here. If um if the lanes stay as they are though actually I think um, reason are gonna have a slightly better time because they've they've rotated uh, one support mid and one support top and they're still gonna be doing the same job whereas they've got three supports bottom doing the same job that only one support could do if that makes any sense yeah um so in terms of efficiency uh, reason are gonna be in a better position but it looks like our engineers are gonna rotate already so that shouldn't be the biggest of issues. Um, as well as Raps, and this is what I'm talking about. This is the war that's going to spot them rotating over, which just gives extra information mm -hmm. um, for the, the players in mid. Um, but the only problem is that this uh, dual mid is slightly um, weak coming out from Reason. I think I've mentioned it in previous casts before, but if you're going to run um, a tri lane sort of setup, I always like to have at least one solo laner that can. Oh, Magma's going in on him. Yeah, they're going to go for a kill right here. Vindicators, actually. If he gets hero blocked enough, wall comes out from Empath. I think he's going to be fine, but it's going to be so oh. close right there. Jeez. Oh, my God. That, that miss from Engineer. Yep. I don't know if oh, it did. Yeah, it. didn't it? But yeah, one. Oh, that's really. Yeah, <laughs> he slaps even. That's so unlucky, really. Um. But no, I was going to mention how uh, whenever uh, you should, whenever you run a, a, a tri lane, you want to have at least one of those solo laners that can almost double up as a as a dual mid or a, a dual lane. Um, and Vindicane in, in a dual lane isn't the strongest, especially against like a Magmus engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, although engineer is rotating top actually. Oh, yeah, they're gonna trouble. put some pressure up here. I mean, in the end, in four, it's going to be fine. And I think Bombardier might have went a little too early right there. If he just waited a little yeah. bit longer, then that could have been engineer getting there in time, and then that could have been a possible kill. So. <laughs> you see right there, obviously, Nymph 4 taking some good pressure, but the, it is pushed up to the tower now. And uh, right here, Pebbles is going to be able to get some good farm with it. So yeah, the adjustment here, I think this is more so for a kill attempt. But no, he's going to yeah. stay up here for now. Mm. Um, I'm not 100% sure about this lane rotation, though, because I think if Engineer stays mid, they can definitely beat this Vindicator Empath lane. Like, almost definitely. Um, although... This Pebbles in the Infora lane isn't the strongest, so it, it shouldn't be the biggest of deals, I just think. Oh, Empath might be in trouble, actually. Yeah, she's going to get caught out off to the side. She uses the SS flick right there. In the end, the Kegstone hits, though. Pebbles comes oh. in. The Stalagmites collect connects on it both right then. And four with the Seal Stone. It only hits Bombardier, but that might work in the end. Empath goes down first, though. Bombardier gets the Bloodlust kill. He basically knew he was dead, and he got what he wanted in the yeah. end, so... I think Adro was playing just a little too like, aggressive, a little bit too ballsy. I'm pretty sure that Bombardier was definitely dead, and Empath just tried to come in for an extra auto attack or two, and, and that was the reason why he died, actually. Like, you saw the, the final auto attack coming out from Keizu was the reason why he died. 
Um, and so that's why Adro made like, maybe Adro thought he was going to die from the bomb anyway, and that's why he wanted to do extra damage. But either way, though, a kill for both sides. Probably just in favour of Zinc because of the uh, blood loss, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Pebbles obviously getting credit for the kill himself, so in the end, you know, his farm's definitely looking pretty good, but yeah, getting that bloodless kill just before, if anything, is making him the best of that bad situation mm. out right there, and yeah, definitely you could even favor them, as, as you said. So, um, bottom lane, is Scout going to be in trouble? No, it doesn't look like it. Raptor yeah, was actually gonna... middle boxing out Vindicator for a little bit, nearly got a kill, but actually they're going to go on a Scout, but yeah, he's going to be fine. Uh, they need Dust to kill him, and even then, it's going to be quite hard. Like, ganking with a Moon Queen isn't isn't the greatest because she's only got the moon bin until it goes leveled up like it doesn't do that much damage and the stun is quite slow and perhaps sitting top though i think they're going to try and um kill on this engineer or um bombardier and i think that's the right play to make like you want to obviously have more heroes in the one lane uh, than the other because obviously they're going against a, a dual lane against uh, a tri lane so if they can get a few kills it's going to be like a big big impact mm -hmm. Now, Scout being played by Super KG, by the way, also worth mentioning. Again, he's kind of yeah. he's the ringer for Imbo Boy in this case, uh, here for this first game at least. There is dust on Rhapsody now, and I'm pretty sure he would have oh, okay. seen that. Um, they're gonna kind of just yeah. sit right next to each other, though. <laughs> Scout is quite low as well. He's only like he's like 70 percent HP. He could die here actually. Uh, okay. <laughs> just kind of says oh. hello and then walks away. So never mind. Yeah, and it's it's one of those issues that you don't want to pop the dust because they're quite valuable, like the 180 gold, especially at this early level. Um, he didn't want to just risk it, but I mean, Scout can't really lane bomb that much, really. Just maybe leech XP. Yeah. In fear of dying, so he's just gonna get the room. I'd like to see him maybe actually gank mid, perhaps when he gets level six, because he's not doing much. Just he's not farming, so he might as well try and help the other lanes and try and make them win. Mickey is actually doing a pretty good job here when it comes to his farm. I mean, this has been kind of a, an interesting land. There's been multiple people here from either side, but in the end, right now, Mickey is 21 and two against Vindicator, who's 17 and three. So he's managing yeah, pretty I mean, well for himself. I know Vindicator isn't like the strongest laner, like compared to other ranged heroes, but I think he could maybe do potentially a little bit better. I didn't see if Magnus was pulled. Uh, he might have been, and that might have been the reason why Mickey's doing so well, actually. But um, this top lane, though, like. The Legion side need to get lane control because this uh, empath's just sitting up here and, and doing nothing really. Like yeah. the only way you're going to have this tri lane work, oh bottom lane, wow, they do kill a scout in the end. Yep, yeah, caught it. I mean that was just simply a good job. He's very patient with the dust, caught him off to the side and eventually used the dust and there was no chance of him getting away after yeah. that, so dust comes through. And that's why I want to see him maybe like rotate because he's definitely in fear of dying because you have to let like, dust now. And Moon Queen's high enough level for the Moonbeam to do a lot of damage and stuff, so. Um, but yeah, they they need. The, I think they're just about getting lane control here in the top lane, and that that will make sure that Bombardier and the Engineer can't really lane up here in fear of dying. Yeah, you see Bombardier I mean, playing very passive here. Yeah, I mean, because like, if you throw if you've got three supports or three heroes in this one lane um, against two heroes, you obviously want to sort of secure that lane and, and make a difference. But keeping the uh, the tower at, or keeping the the lane equilibrium at the tower, like the supports, the extra support is really doing nothing compared to um, the zinc support boxing out the scout bottom lane. So at the moment, it's pretty in favour of zinc. But once the lane shock comes back, uh, they might be able to net a kill on this engineer or bombardier. Mm -hmm. Man, they, I have a feeling they're going to try to use a poor man's portal key right here. They really want to initiate the stop lane, but it's just... It, Bombardier's just playing way too passive yeah. here. Yeah, it's well played by Kay's here. Oh. Yeah, here we go. He's going to cut to the trees. He sees him right here. Stalagmites will connect. This should be a kill. Unless Empath is out of range. Okay, finally gets in. The auto attacks come through. And then, yeah, so it's taking a while. I think it was blocked by it's his just, teammates. Yeah, she was blocked. And like, you know when you like right click on something, but yeah. you know, you're, you're both blocked. He's running like a dodgy path. But yeah, it, it works in the end, so it's all good. Um, I think that was blind too, as far as him eating through the trees and yeah, going in. Like, I think so, yeah. But that, that's like what I was talking about. Like, Probus has like got such great, great presence of mind. Like you almost can see people when they're not even there. <laughs> it's like it's quite crazy, but doing a good job as as he tends to do for this team. So obviously that's their that's their their, their hope right now. The shining star. He's up there at the top of the GPM chart with Moon Queen. At 370 gold per minute, and again, they have that Nymph 4 aspect. This is a great thing about having Nymph 4. Not only can you TP around there, but yeah, top lane. Bombardier might be in trouble again. Empath coming in the wall at the angle, forces him to go around it, but it does not oh. cut him out. There's a poor man's portal. Oh, can he land the seal's done? He's going to put in auto attacks, but no, now he's in trouble, actually. Sticky Bomb comes out, the port in from Rhapsody, and that's probably going to explode early here for the stun. Is he going to make it explode? Oh, no, he's oh, not, actually. Okay. 
There we go. There's the stun. Magmus comes in and we'll get the one kill. And now Pebble's in trouble as well. He's going to fall. And even Empath might be in trouble. You see the haste of Magmus. He is so going. He's going to use that wall to his advantage. Hopefully that they take the tower long enough. But it's not going to matter. Down goes Empath and Sync Esports comes out wow. big time throughout the whole exchange. <laughs> Look at the golden XP. That turned in like in a matter of seconds. Yeah. Like from 1,000 to 3,000. And also Scout got picked off bottom line. I didn't really get to catch it. But I think he might have just over... Overestimated um, Moon Queen and she just popped the ult and killed him hey, in you, the end. You know what? Something too. Yes, yeah, Scott goes down, but I wonder how long Vindicator was level six right there because oh, yeah. he did not use his ultimate yeah. that whole time. That's Obviously, true. I was watching the action, so I'm not 100 percent sure what the deal with that was. But you got to question that if he had it up and enough mana for it, why he wouldn't have used it there. Yeah, I mean, at, at the moment, I think the map movements coming out from Zinc are the, the reason why they're so far ahead. You saw the Magmus got the haste for him and instantly went top, as well as the uh, the TP coming out from um, yeah from Pani actually in the top lane, securing those extra kills. Um, and, and it's just those little sort of team things and team coordinations just giving that early advantage, which makes such difference in in the early game. But we see um, Reason sort of rotating uh, Probos down bottom, and I think it's the right call. Stand up top. Um, after after that sort of fiasco, it's just too risky, and they just want to secure this Pebbles portal key in the bottom lane, uh, even if this means a, a tri lane coming in from a uh, zinc. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Oh, you're gonna be fine. Uh, you see, Scout's kind of well scouting around right here. He's level six now, and gonna find uh, actually engineer right there. But no harassment's gonna be coming out. I mean, Vindicator, as we mentioned, he is level seven now. Uh, he's got a major totem here, so it looks like. Possibly going to see that turn into a tap of the command, I would think, uh, at this point in time. And you think that, oh, actually, he's going to be caught on right here by Magmus. Engineer's going to follow the kicks on, hits and pushes them forward, though. Bobby Air Strike comes through as well. And now Vindicator 1 on my takeaway. No, the bottle charges, or the power spike, excuse me, could it be enough. He doesn't have a bottle, but that is enough to keep him alive. In the meantime, though, Empath now off to the side. Magmus done will hit. He's kind of in the trees, but he's not hitting enough. And Empath is going to fall. Vindicator, again, still has his ulti, but he's not wanting to use it in these cases here. And if he ends up dying too because of this, oh, this is going to be big, but no, it should be out of range. Oh, I would think. Yeah, yeah he's going to be fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Mac was like night vision wasn't, wasn't high enough. But he's rotating bottom as well, actually. This is quite scary for Pebble. Pebbles and Infra are really low. And, like, Scout doesn't have a TP, and, and uh, neither does. Uh, Vindicator at the moment, they are rotating bottom. Yeah, Vindicator has ulti though, so we'll see if he looks to use it right here. Nephora goes down, there's the Vindicator ultimate. Magnus is going to end up falling right here as the supporting cat tries to come in. The Vindicator ultimate though, swapping any stuns now that there's no men on Engineer. But Moon Queen is ready to go, has a Moon Queen, no Moon Finale. They might not need it though. Pebbles says, get off me, he's going to try to hug the tower right here. Using that fire slide, there's the Moon Finale. The ticks go all on and Pebbles right there. And down he falls. Now Vindicator at least going to get one counter kill. If they get a second one, this could be pretty big for Reason Gaming actually. Path, he cannot get close enough though. Rhapsody also manages to stay alive as he barely gets away. Top lane. Now Scout, no, he should be fine. Just go back and forth. Like, I, I don't mean to like call out any players, but I'm sorry, if, if Super KG had a TP there, that would have been completely one team fight for Reason Gaming. Like, Zinc are diving like four players mm -hmm. up, like past the tier one tower. Like, you get a few TPs in there, and that can be like a difference maker and get you right back into the game. It's just a few players not carrying TPs. We mentioned this in the last game, actually, uh, with Last of Us. Like, we saw Zinc, they really do like to sort of dive these tier towers, and it can definitely work if the other team doesn't have TPs. And, and it's just Zinc really capitalizing on the mistakes coming up from Reason Gaming. <laughs> right there, speaking of mistakes, uh, not really a mistake, it was just to make him being a little bit optimistic right there. Uh, he was hoping that the Kexton was going to be able to come out fast enough. He's channeled the eruption as he stunned in, but uh, obviously it was just a little bit too late. Thus, Pebble stops it, and not much else happens. Bottom oh, lane, no right. Vindicator. No, Empath is going to hold his ground. He puts a wall up. He wants to turn this, but that's not even to come close. However, will it actually? Rhapsody drops low. Rhapsody goes down. Moon Queen, though, taking the damage. He has a Moonbeam. This oh. is going to stand his ground. Vindicator has a creature oh. advantage, and the Sage of Sword comes out, or the Brain Drain, whatever. Whatever they call it now, and down falls Moon Queen. What a stand right there for Xibi. Very well played. And um, one thing I was going to note before is well, BMG is, is one of the best teams in my opinion to really offer that TP support. Whenever like a t uh, one of their allies is getting dove or getting uh, ganked, or whatever, they yeah. instantly pull in and they always all middle lane. Now we're going to see any ports right here. Pebbles in the meantime gets take. Oh, the big combo to turn it around. Will they get one kill out of this? Oh, no, they will not. He tried his darnest, but Nim4 could not do enough damage. The energy field is late, though, with that seven. Magnus doesn't care. He stuns back in. And if he can land a zeal stun, actually, that could be dead for him. Okay, yeah. No, Engineer dodges it. He goes back in with the power supply. 
But no, then four's gonna be fine. So <laughs> man, that was close. But again, no TPs coming out. Yeah, exactly. Like one TP that they get, they mop up the engineer and they mop up the Magnus without a doubt. Like oh, it's just so frustrating. Like they could get so many kills here if they just carry TPs. And but at the same time, I do understand why maybe they're not carrying TPs. They don't have like the bubble. The bottom lane scout might be in trouble. Sink is Sink is just playing uh, aggressive they are today, so man. Aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> It reminded me of like BMG. I was Nim for a TP bottom. I think this Moon Queen might be in trouble. Yeah, th this is big action for a reason again. Can they capitalize on this? Here comes Pebbles. Moon Queen realizes they're scared. There's a Vindicator ultimate. Moon Queen doesn't stand a chance here. She's gonna fall. Maybe no! The Predictor Mountain comes out. This heal stun does hit though. Cancels it pretty damn quickly, but it's still not enough! Moon Queen's gonna survive right here. Magma stuns in. A big stun from Mickey. Down goes Empath. And now we see Pebbles in it for both of the run. In comes a big brain drain there. Puts down that totem. Gonna do a little bit of work. The Chuck, not enough. Magnus actually. He ends up getting away. It, was, it did kill Rhapsody, actually. And there's another brain trying to take out Engineer. Talk about good timing right there by both sides. But in the end, Reason does come out on top. First of all, that sidestep from Zube was the reason why he got that final kill. He's been playing and made like he hasn't been playing on a top team, but he yeah. has shown that he can definitely play at a top level. Absolutely really well played by Zube. Or bottom lane, Pebbles. Oh, Pebbles. No, he had the Zeal stun back up. Mickey goes down. Mickey loves to man up. In that case, not the best decision. He had team support, but it wasn't fast enough. Bombardier, though, in the meantime, he might be in trouble. He does have a tablet. He's going to use it right there. Brain Drain not going to be able to be used. Not enough mana, but now Moon Queen's getting locked down. The wall comes up. I'm afraid they don't have enough damage, though. They're very low on mana here in the Legion side. They need to get back, because here comes Rhapsody now. Dust is applied. Vindicator having to stand his ground. He does have Pebbles. Pebbles going man out. He jumps back in with barely any life, and he gets the kill. And then quickly falls back. It is just all action at the bottom lane right now. But Reason Gaming is able to start climbing back into this. Yeah, Reason Gaming. The reason why they're getting. <laughs> the reason why Reason Gaming are getting back <laughs> in this um, are actually because of Pebbles. The Pebbles portal key is really big factor. You see on the Hellborn side, Magmus doesn't have his PK yet. And, and the initiation and that sort of burst potential, especially in these early levels, is really why Reason Gaming are getting back into this game. They're, they're picking off the heroes really, really snap quick um, before like Zinc can really uh, sort of address it. Um, but yeah, like you saw just uh, before, the Zinc TP'd everyone down in. I thought that was going to work really, really bad for, for Reason Gaming, but that, that Pebbles Portal Kit is really um, paying off big time, especially in these early engagements, actually. Yeah, as it does. And yeah, you see Zibby now, 365 gold per minute, the top yeah. farm of the game. Uh, you know, so I was going to bring this up and just had a cost of action, but he's going to be going for Tablet first, looks like. As there you go, he finishes it. You like that choice? Yeah, I think, like, we saw all this action coming out from um, from both teams, and I think Tablet is a really strong uh, support item. Like, we saw uh, Moon Queen just getting saved by, I think, the Bombardier with the Tablet ulti, mm -hmm. along with the Rhapsody um, ulti as well. And um, I really think Tablet is a strong item, particularly in, in these sort of early engagements, just to save people. So, yeah, I think it's a really good pickup. It offers good stats and everything you really need, as well as Vindicator isn't the mobile list of heroes, so that Tablet can really help him in, in that sort of area. Yeah. So, so yeah, good on pickup. Has that now to work with? He maxes the W as well, so it's gonna start leveling up that E of his. And you know, the more he levels it up, the longer, uh, the longer, the slow it looks like it applies, mm -hmm. as well as the longer it lasts. So I had to double check on that. That ability's changed so much, man. So, <laughs> but uh, I, I love seeing the totem move too. It moves so slow. It's like a random totem just moving, gliding across the ground. But uh, uh, this. This game is really close, actually. It's like you can feel the hype, and it's just oh, it's yeah. good. Anyway, middle lane. Yeah, they're, they're, they're diving. Mickey diving once again. Vindicator has his ulti. He's going to use it right here. The follow up's not going to be the most effective because of that big oh. brain drain. Here comes Pebbles with them. Path inside. Engineer's in trouble. He's going to fall. Moon Queen and Bombardier in trouble. Moon Queen gets the moon finale off, though. Bombardier is trying to turn it around. Vindicator's going to end up going down. He got his E down, but it's not enough to save the day. Pebbles says, get off it with a chuck. That will keep him alive for now. Scout is here, but he is out of mana. He did already use his marksman shot, and for us sticking around a little too long. And he does go down in the process. So numbers in favor of Sync right there. Good Vindicator ultimate, but not enough to turn it around, it looked like. Oh, nice deny, though, from Probus. Uh, he might cost him. Yeah, this is not good. Scout has an Electric Eye Silence, but it's not the most effective. And as we see, it does not matter. In fact, now he might be in trouble. He's able to sidestep the Sticky Bomb at least, but still, the auto attack's coming out. Uh, it's falling. It's, it's going downhill for a reason all of a sudden. Yeah. I think reason are just getting a little over ambitious. Like Zinc are going full in, full aggression, and at, at times they're they're making somewhat misplays. It's just reason really needs to be um, available and ready to take these team fights. Like at the moment, like Pebbles was only three and is still going against like five Zinc heroes, and they need to just sort of tighten up their play. Like they're still definitely in this game, but. 
They need to sort of play as a team and, and make sure the coordination is, is on point because things will definitely punish you. There, there, just make sure aggression, aggression, aggression. Mm -hmm. And if you and if uh, reason aren't ready to take a team fight all on five on five, um, they're definitely going to pay and be punished as a result of it. Yeah. I <laughs> like this right here. Zimmy putting you down the Glyph of Silence just to farm with it, just in case they're looking to jump him. So, obviously, uh, that's not the case there. It's going to be on cooldown. It's about a 45 second cooldown. Yeah, base 45 second cooldown. The last top. And in the meantime, though, Nymphor reports and Moon Queen goes yeah. down. That's what they're going to need. More of that. And they've been doing yeah. it. I mean. Uh, and I have to admit, Reason played Nymphor probably better than any other team. I know they love to pick him up, and they do it perfectly. Whenever the ultimate is up off cooldown, they always use it. Uh, and, and it's really like. A really, really important thing because like, obviously they lost that team fight before. They're down. They were down like five, six k, and, and those few ganks and few kills can really make a difference. Like if you get like four or five of those, it's almost like a win team fight. So yeah, uh, and especially on like, like an important hero like Moon Queen, it can really slow down that farm, which is going to be uh, an important factor. Um, we see Sink going here on the bottom tower, and I don't think uh, Reason are in a position to retake really this. They need to trade middle and top, um, but they're quite slow to be taking these towers. Or the top might fall. There's the bottom tower. They are pushing middle end top, as you mentioned. A couple of split pushing right here. Okay, top lane, they are going to port in. Nymph 4 applies the grace of the Nymph, but he's not going to be able to get away. He actually applied that to Pebbles. I don't know if it would have mattered anyways with the movement speed, but Portal Key Magma is a little too strong right there. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, Dust comes out. Scout is going to get dusted, but they get the tower kill. That's what they wanted. Are they going to stick around? It looks Ooh. like they might. Hey, Pebbles Vindicator. Is Pebbles is coming. They're going to be fighting. Does he have an ultimate? He's going to use the ultimate right there. Pebbles is coming, but the Hellborn team is running. They know something just doesn't feel right. They're going to look to turn this. No energy field goes down after the science wears off. Pebbles doesn't oh. care about it, though. He jumps right over his Delagmite's hit. There's that shotgun down. Goes Engineer Bombardier doing what he can. He has a level two airstrike. Sticky Bomb is used and catches Pebbles. But it's not going to be enough damage even with the airstrike. So he's going to let. Oh, maybe it will now. Magma's coming. There's the perfect airstrike coming out. Pebbles is going to fall. They get the one kill. They get the two on the scout. Three kills possibly on Empath. Yeah, he doesn't stand a chance. That sticky bomb exploded. Okay, it doesn't matter. Casey gets it. A double tap for him. And it's still going. Vindicator finally trying to get out of here as he somehow squishes through the trees. But they have another stun, I'm sure. Oh, Pebbles fights back, actually. So he gets a turret kill to Rhapsody, going for the another one of Magma's spot that move, Finale comes in, and now Pebbles in trouble, he le levels up the large level two, but it doesn't matter, he goes down, and the chase even continues, the dive is just happening all over the place for Sink. Another sticky bomb lands, Magmus has a stun, he's going to try to get Nymphora here, he will, and Nymphora's going to fall, what the hell man, everyone ends up dying. Yeah, it's just, uh, it goes back to like Reason not being able to be in the best position. We saw like uh, Pebbles use his combo and then you know, get the kill, but they sort of stay still stuck around and, and Hellborn or Zinc were ready to take the team fight. Well, Moon Queen was just about um, lacking behind, but as a whole, like Zinc all had, had their spells and cooldowns like, off cooldown and all their spells read in, and Reason just were like, a like, little bit lower mana or their cooldowns were you know, on cooldown. And, and it's those little mistakes or little things that make a big difference in these team fights. And Zink are just all out aggression, all out aggression. They will definitely go cutthroat. Um, so a reason have to be ready to take this team fights because Zink are definitely bringing the pain. They sure are. They, they definitely came to play once again today and uh, showing 1350 gold saved up on Moon Queen. He's, his farm is getting scary. Oh, the sticky bomb on Scout right here. <laughs> He's kind of walking around with a sticky bomb on his head on an invisible target, but it doesn't matter. He's going to be fine. Even after the explosion right there. Pebble's going to be going for a shrunken head next to line. Uh, there is 2,000 gold saved up on Vindicator. So, you know, if you are if you are Vindicator here, your, your team's at a... Uh, they're down by a comfortable bit right here. They have a Mooka that's getting good farm. Well, what, what do you see going for here if you're Vindicator? Mm, I mean, I don't play a lot of Vindicator. I would have, I would have said maybe like Gone Grimmer, but... A, it's a little bit late, and the pace of the game is definitely not formal orientated. Um, he could go like a few things, like he could go maybe like Hellflower would be quite a, like a big issue. Like say if you can like Hellflower, like a, even like a support like Engineer or or Rhapsody before like get like a big team fight ultimates off would be quite important. Um, but like he can go like a quite a few items really. I think Hellflower might be um, the best choice. Even something maybe like a protective, uh, even perhaps. I would say Nullstone, but I don't think there's enough single target damage or single target spells to really uh, warrant yeah. uh, a Nullstone. But uh, he is quite squishy, though. 
Um, I think Hellflower might be the decision he goes. He's building, or saving up his money, so he might not even know himself. But I think Hellflower would be maybe like a, a quite solid pickup, though. Yeah, it's like, do you go that, or maybe do you go the, the yeah. shrunken head, just because you need to be yeah, defensive be here. So it's it is a yeah. tough place to be in for sure. And you know, another thing I'm kind of noticing about this Legion team, especially, they have a Ring of the Teacher, but that's basically it as far as team support goes. They don't have an Abyssal Skull, so it's Bulwark, a Barrier, an Astrolabe, even none of these support items that you just usually like to see every game. Now, with that said, the Help Warrior team, it's not like they have a plethora of those. They are also yeah. lacking, to be honest. But uh, I th I think, not coming here. I think, yeah, I think Astrolabe would probably be the only support item you could probably maybe warrant to get. Like, I think the Soul Spore or uh, Abyssus Go is only really necessary. Or bottom lane. Yeah, do they have enough damage is the question. In comes the Volatile Pod. They barely have enough, but it is it's enough. The support is coming in. Though Magma's a big stun once again. They have, he has the Glyph of Silence down. Vindicator has him at the side. There's the ultimate coming out. He's putting in the auto attacks. Brain Drain is used. Engineer may fall. No, the Protective Melody in the last second. He's taking some good damage himself, but Vindicator cannot do enough. No stuns, of course. Pebbles goes back in the shock. The oh. two-man kill with an Engineer is stopped the eruption. He was channeling it, but Pebbles saw him. Propose making the big plays. Bombardier still in trouble. Pebbles going back and has a chuck. He's going to use it. Down goes Bombardier. And Probusk is doing work here for his team. Vindicator also making some big plays. Just well played all around for reason. Farming top, but that was 4v5 reason just did that. Yeah. Vindicator is doing insane amounts of damage, and he's not even that far. He like, he's got like 3.5k saved up, and he's doing a lot of damage with that Master's Incantation. Like, this hero is... Really, really like showing off his potential, honestly. Like, um, like I'm not funny, but this scout honestly hasn't done anything almost. Like, I'm not to sort of slate Super KG, but he's 0 4 and 2, really hasn't been that influential in any of these kills, and he hasn't even got good farm. He's 172 GPM. Yeah, I know he was shot down at the start at the bottom lane, but I think he should be doing better. Either he should be roaming more with his team or even being, you know, doing better farm, but yeah. he really needs to up his game because at the moment he's kind of dead weight. We saw like the reason I always take that team fight 4v5, like without scout, and it just sort of shows how non impactful this scout really is playing, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, uh, I guess the, the light at the end of the tunnel is like, imagine now when he's involved in those team fights. Yeah, exactly. How it That's could true. actually work, yeah. But yeah, no, you do have a valid point. It's not flaming by any means. It's it's a valid point. He's 0-4-2 in a game where there's 18 kills on your team and exactly. 23 for the other team. There's a lot of action going on in this game, so stats don't really reflect that the most. But. Yeah, and I understand that he wants farm, but like his um, skill set, even without farm, is definitely good. Particularly that Electric Eye, he's maxed it actually to level 4, and though that sort of extra silence, on top of a uh, Vindicator silence, can make a big uh, big difference, especially with a team that is so spell-oriented like uh, the Hellbond side. So like getting a good Electric Eye off or even um, his Marksman shot can really sway a, a team fight. Yeah. Or oh, near 4 o'clock middle, Magmus might be in trouble. Mm. Pebbles, he, he has a double damage and he was he almost went in, but something really caused him to be like, yeah, never mind, it's second yeah. guess there and yeah. no yeah, jump like in the, the end. The, the problem of jumping that far next to a tower is like we saw Zinc's TP like sort of uh, rotation coming up bottom lane and even middle is even closer to um, you know the Zinc sort of side. So um, and, and reason weren't really ready to take a five on five team fight. I think Vindicate was farming bottom and it's just a risk they don't need to take. Like they're getting back in this. They saw that you saw um, them sort of win the team fight four v five. They don't need to take any risks that are just unwarranted unless they're all five ready to take a team fight together. Now, Vindicator, he goes to Blessed Orb, so it looks like yeah. he's probably going to be going to Sheepstick here to follow yeah, up the Sheep tablet. Stick, huh? uh... Yeah, Sheepstick or Hellflower is, works almost the same. I think Hellflower is offering maybe a bit, a bit, better, bit better build, but, um, but yeah. offering obviously the Hellflower, same sort of Hellflower, as far as, yeah, yeah. the, the, the right-click threat yeah, and just yeah. the build-up, exactly, it's good for that. But Sheepstick, I think, it's obviously Sheepstick, better in terms yeah. of the crowd control that it applies, yeah, especially with definitely. the slow effect. Um, I think, like, Sheepstick... I, the only reason I think Hellflower, I thought he was going to go that is because obviously it lasts a little bit longer. But also, Sheep's is normally uh, good uh, when you're going against like, a big, really late game carry that um, that offers a lot of sort of physical DPS. Because obviously, Sheep Six sort of stuns them or polymorphs them or whatever it does. Uh, whereas Hellflower, you can obviously still all attack. I mean, Hell Moon Queen is getting it yeah. up, so that could be the reason why. Um, but I think Hellflower maybe would have been a tiny bit of better choice. But it doesn't really matter in the end. They're both good lockdown yeah. items and both work either way. So. Now, if you are a scout here, um, you know, you, as you said, it's far must have been the most, he hasn't been the most impactful. What do you think he needs to get? Does he get the Abyssal Skull here for the team, or does he try to go more, okay, he goes the Abyssal Skull, so there you so, yeah. I don't know, like, I understand, like, Abyssal Skull's quite, almost, you know, um, what's the word I'm thinking of, quite, oh my god, it's quite normal for him to go, but, yeah. like, I don't know, like, 
his business score is obviously good, you know, off his life still and um, extra damage and all. But I think the main reason people pick up a business score is for the extra sort of armor it gives. But it's only Moon Queen really is offering a lot of physical DPS coming up from this Hellbound side. Yeah, it's still good, you know, when Moon Queen gets, you know, really late and offering a lot of physical DPS. But I mean, even an energizer, I know it's going to be a late energizer, but those extra sort of stats and, you know, the movement speed to catch any more heroes and kills can could, could be helpful as well. But, um,. I mean, Abyssal's fine as well, so it's not like a really terrible item. It's still going to be useful in the late game, just yeah. maybe not as useful now. Well, it also makes me wonder, obviously, you know, Empath usually a candidate has support. Yeah, usually that's the true. Shows that's that true. too, so <laughs> usually a candidate for that, but not going to be going in this case, obviously. We'll see where he goes. So speaking of that, again, with the name support, I know people have been wondering about this. If you didn't tune in earlier, if you haven't been around for a little bit, uh, support no longer Bardo Sink Esports, guys. Insania is actually their new fifth. He just happens to not be here today. Thus, Panny is ringing in his place. So it's Insania as their new fifth, though. Uh, support no longer part of the team. So again, just to clarify that as far as w what's going on there. But uh, we've kind of been as action-packed as we've had this game. This yeah. has been a very stale place for the last about three, four minutes here. Uh, a whole lot going on, a lot more farm. But there are some big items coming. That's probably why mm. on either side yeah. here. And, and I definitely think it's definitely in uh, reasons sort of potential that they have to make a move first because Moon Queen just can sit back and farm as much as she wants really uh, and then Vindicate is still a strong late game but compared to Moon Queen it just doesn't offer as much so uh, I think they're probably maybe waiting for the sheep stick on Vindicate and then they're going to try and force something uh, because they can't really wait too long because otherwise Moon Queen's going to get out of control and then no one will be able to stop Zinc in the end. Mm -hmm. so. There you go, sheep stick just finished right there by Vindicator so has that to work with, but yeah, will they will they look to make a go ahead now, or will they continue to wait? As you said, that could be a very deadly decision if they're not quick enough. Moon Queen has a good core item set going here, another thousand gold just about saved up. So, Let's see how that continues to progress. But the sheep stick officially delivered. The shrunken head, of course, on Pebbles. He's had that for a little bit now, and it uh, looks like they're trying to get that ass to label on Saint Rocks here. But in fact, okay, they might have just gotten it. So, yeah, I mean. I think uh, this is the good enough time as any just to really go. Um, the only problem is they don't have the strongest obviously push potential, so I think they might have to take a team fight before they can really uh, assault the tower. Because if if they're like sort of assaulting the tower, they're all clumped up, and it's going to be like a, a really easy initiation coming out from uh, Mika. He's got the the shrunken head as well, so his uh, ult oh, shouldn't really be interrupted. So I, I think they'll have to take a team fight before they start assaulting the tower, because otherwise they're going to put themselves in a bad position to get initiated on. Yeah. <laughs> so I uh, will say this, Scout's definitely toying with them at the bottom lane here. Rhapsody even dusted, thinking that he was nearby, but he was not. He even throws in a marksman shot to kind of harass Bombardier a little bit. But in the end, Disco Inferno's placed down, and he heals right back. So, so kind of just toying with them, keeping them guessing. But in the end, again, they're going to be fine. Uh, speaking of Sheepstick, Bombardier just about has his now. 3,400 more gold saved up with that Blessed Orb. So yeah, he too is going to have that big, big item. Follow-up Magnus obviously going to Shrunken Head with the Portal Key. His eruption got screwed up earlier. He wants to make sure that doesn't happen again. Mm. As far oh, Vindicator as... might be in trouble. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh my god. This is what? a dead Vindicator. Uh, okay. <laughs> they did not <laughs> jump in. So wow. I'm, I think... I'm a certain... Yeah. Well, it's like... Like, yeah, okay, yeah, we, we have know. God Vision. We can see. But as far as they're concerned, like, that, why are you pushing up like this? This has to be bait. <laughs> that, was so, that was so random. He started walking up. I thought, like... I thought he DC'd us, I was yeah. so confused. He's manly. Let's see if he doesn't care. Hey, she just takes the creep kills and runs away. Who cares if there's five enemy heroes right next to you? Clearly it didn't matter there, so... Uh. Yeah, I think... I, I really hope Zinc don't sort of force this or don't sort of feel like they have to push because they've got the Moon Queen. I think they've got the better late game. Uh, they've got like good supports uh, that sort of scale well into the like, late game like Engineer and Rhapsody. I really hope they just sort of weigh it out and wait for reason to push in, into them because then uh, Sync will be at the, the initiation advantage. <laughs> Man, you just talk about a complete change of pace in a game like this. It, we're, yeah. we're, we're looking at, what is that, 40, uh, I'm, doing, I'm bad at math, 41 hero kills total. And uh, if that, that happened, and that's been that way now for mm. almost 10 minutes, it ten, feels like. Yeah, I 10 mean, probably, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the, just a quick look at the stream, it's the same score on there, so it's at least been six minutes, probably closer to ten minutes, so. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been a little bit here. It, it happens, action. though, like, you get into such, like, aggressive and such chaos that, like, you know, one team's like, okay, guys, calm, calm, calm down, and, and the other team doesn't want to follow in because, you know, they're scared to sort of, you know, get baited or even lose 
considerably. And particularly in the later game, like, I mean, it's all good getting five-man wiped in, in the early stage. Yeah, it's bad, but you get five-man wiped into the later stages of the game, and it's a lot more you know, just a bit devastating because you could lose towers, racks, conger, etc., etc. So, um, especially in the later game, you normally see uh, at, most teams play a little bit more safe and less risky, so you see a lot less action in the later games. But it's just because it's more important, like, getting picked up. Oh, well, the on the top line. This yeah. could be the action. Oh, oh, no, the dust comes out, though. Raps, they're going to see this, but will it matter? Yes. Pebble jumps in, he misses the stuns, but Mook was going to get caught. Sheepstick comes out right here. Vindicator with the Empath inside. They got four people teleported because of the Empath right there. They get the one, they get uh -huh. the two. The Vindicator ultimate also used just in case, but it paid off. That, that, that's clever, man. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, man, I didn't think of that empath TP. Yeah. That's really, really clever, actually. But look, I mean, we New Four are such good hero. Like, we saw it, its uh, potential in the early game, just getting into team fights. But in the late game, it's arguably even better. Like getting a pick off, especially on the Moon Queen, especially in this later, the game is so big. Like they're going to take this tier two, uh, and they might even be able to get more as well, depending on uh, the Hellborn side. And like ganks like this is just why teams pick up the Infora. Yeah, she doesn't have the, the greatest lane in the stage, but get her into the mid game and she can just be such an annoying force to deal with. Yeah, and I uh, gotta agree with you, man. I mean, they, they know how to play it. St. Rock's doing a fantastic yeah. job at finding the points and making great use of that ultimate. We do see a lot of those games where the ultimate's very rarely to never use. You're just like, so what's yep. going on with that? But they are using that. Top lane push. They're gonna try to counter now. Scout coming in, but oh, Bombardier if he sticks around. No, quick clean up and he's good. Yeah, Pebbles isn't there. Like, you need your... Oh, Scout! Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he... Oh, Nip 4 tp This could be big. This is actually... Oh, wow, yeah, Nip 4 tps in and they're gonna turn this. Bombardier goes down. Magmus was counter-warding in the meantime. I don't think he realized that all of a sudden they were running in right there. He is gonna be fine, but yeah, so that turns out actually pretty good for <laughs> considering yeah. a Scout hasn't been in a whole lot once again. They'll yeah, take that. Funny. Definitely pretty in favor of freezing game, and yeah, maybe Scout can uh, transition better into the late game than Bombardier, but Bombardier's like nearly 400 GP and Scout's like just below 200, which is really kind of unacceptable to be honest, especially at this late of the game. Um, so it's probably better trade for a reason in the end, but uh, this near 4 ATP, whenever it's on cooldown, like, the Zinc team has got to be so afraid, especially with these, like, great ward coming out from Adro. There's one here on, on the hard cam, and he had one on the yellow camp. It just giving great vision, and that's exactly what you need as a Nymph 4 when you have a Nymph 4 on your team. You want to have aggressive warding to really take use of um, the, the Nymph 4 teleports. So. Yeah. Really big. Yeah, again, just a bit. <laughs> it's like, right as we we're complimenting, talking about it, sure enough, they make another big play with it, so. That's how it works right there. So, yeah, very, very good news there for, for recent game and shrunken head of Vindicator. I mean, I feel like with the way this game has been going for like the last 10 minutes, it feels like Reese has actually been in a comfortable lead, but that's yeah. not the case. I mean, Zinc still has the overall lead going right now, and they still have the Moon Queen factor, as well as a lot of strong team fight potential. But again, it's Vindicator's ultimate. It, it causes issues. Yeah. But. Another thing, like going back to the Nymphora ultimate, like when do you ever see normally like a Moon Queen with only 400 GPM at 35? 34 minutes like True. yeah like 400 gpm is quite good but i mean normally at this stage of the game you see like 500 to 600 gpm moon queens and this is because the nymph 4 atp like uh not only has moon queen died like she's feels unsafe to farm anywhere else like unless with her team oh pebbles might be in trouble here well they, they want they're gonna tp in they're, they're all grouped up right here to tp somewhere they're just waiting for the right moment but look at zinc's look at zinc's map but they have to go as far yeah, because if exactly. it's 4 atp they're just gonna get picked off like and this like not only, like, even if you don't use an in for a TP right now, like, it's still good. As long as they maybe sort of split farm, they can out farm um, Zinc because Zinc have to play as a team because they're just going to feed otherwise. Uh, and this obviously <laughs> slows down everyone's farm. I love what Reddy's just said. You, you look at it, man. They're, they're just, they're, they're training the here. They're hugging oh, each other. They might but... be in trouble. Ooh. This yeah. is an awkward Engage moment. Room. Look, look at Flesby's using the Minotaur right here, kind of scouting oh, scout. out. And... Revward. Oh. Okay, nice yeah, he sees it. Gonna be fine. It's so like, tense right here. Like they have to go as five because they're gonna get picked up otherwise. Like this Nymphora TP, like this Nymphora pick is just doing so much work right now. Like, when do you ever see Zinc like really afraid to like just farm and like be themselves? Like, oh, Empath. Oh, they're gonna kill the Minotaur, but it might come at a cost if they're not careful. There's the jump in Empath. Now, will they be able to respond? No, they're not going to. They're just like, okay, well, you're you're dead, so we'll let let it be. I mean, that's what those cases. so hard by yeah. the so, like, Pe Pebbles is farming mid, like, especially at this late stage of the game, like, your coordination and communication has to be absolutely perfect. Like, if, if uh, say, Vindicator or Nymphora or Scout got picked off as well, that could have been so, so bad. Like, em Empath pick is it's quite bad. They might lose Kongo, maybe, but losing an Empath is not that bad. So they just really have to, reason, have to sort of tighten up their team play and their, 
the coordination because uh, one pick's fine, but any more than that really is is going to be the difference perhaps to them losing this game. So. Something else to remember too, you see right there, Sticky Bomb applied to Moon Queen. Remember, you can place it on yeah. your teammates and yourself now. So that's kind of a good counter tool. Like he placed it there because in case the Moon Queen got jumped, mm. he had a yep. way to stun the people around him. So it's going to help Magnus initiation as well. It's going to do a lot more damage as well. True. So. Yeah. You just put it on him and PK in. It's quite cool. And coordinate that. Yeah, didn't even think about that either. So, um, oh, this is interesting. Ancients. Like, oh, man. Like, you saw how far Nymphora goes up here. Like, look yeah. at um, Adro. He's right back there. If, if they pick, take off, uh, if they take Nymphora right there, that's like a lost team fight almost instantly. They really need to uh, improve their sort of team map movements and coordination because they are almost out of position right now. But luck. Zing can't really, they're taking Ancients, but if like Magmas went in on that, that could have just spell disaster right yeah, there. Yeah, that could have been a bad start, so. But again, you could, that's why they didn't go though, because I feel, yeah. I mean, the, the counter initiation yeah. is very strong on Reason Gaming, so. They, unless they're very certain with who they're going in on. Playing Five safe. seconds is so long as well for Vindicator. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine insane. if it gets a Resto Stone. Oh man. <laughs> that's 10 seconds of lockdown right there. <laughs> And that, that's a very say, possible item. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know. Like, I, I think the theory behind it is quite good. But I think as Vindicator is the hard carry, like it's the same with like Chronos. You know when like we see like a suicide Chronos get yeah. um, the refresher. Like he's not the main carry. Like he's obviously the suicide or the initiation. And, yeah. and Vindicator is the hard carry. They need like another item. Like yeah, Breast of Stone would be good. I think they need like a. a oh, uh, there we go. They're gonna jump in. That was an illusion. That was a good bait right there. Coming out from the Hellborn side, oh. and Magma's going to counter initiate on him for a tablet comes out. Both teams playing very good in terms of support. Magma's going to be jumped on right by Scout now. He pops the struck and head. Pebble's still waiting. Empath jumps inside Vindicator. They're running away. Here we go with the struck and head. There's the ultimate coming out from Vindicator. And now the other attacks. Look at Moon Queen dropping. He can't do much. He needs to run right here. He has the head. The protective ability. It doesn't matter. He still goes down through it. Engineer in the meantime, he's trying to stay alive. Energy field is up. Airstrike comes out, hits a couple. Pebbles is though. But he's gonna oh barely stay alive. Bomb and ear goes it's down. Hat trick for Xibi! <laughs> wow. Oh my seriously, they need like this Vindicator is doing so much work right now. You saw like the if the uh, Vindicator all got popped and they just running around like headless chickens. This this Vindicator pick is doing so much work. Yeah. Like it's like he's carrying his scout, like I, don't, I really hate like to like insult <laughs> some. I don't it, like. I'm not saying it's, like he's playing it bad. Like I know he had a pretty bad time, but this this scout is honestly doing absolutely nothing, and this Vindicator is carrying like four v five. I I will say. I mean, disarm is is yeah, a definitely. decent thing. It's one of those things that may be hard to notice sometimes, and that also I'm sure is having somewhat of an effect. But yeah, no doubt Vindicator is this doing Vindicator a lot of work. So much work. Yeah. And uh, again, that was Sync jumping in now. Here we go. He gets marked for shot, though. Oh, it stunned it. Oh <laughs> Scout oh did God. something. Scout in the meantime, he's in trouble. The big light stun coming out. Super KG in trouble. He gets tapped, though. He will explode to the sticky ball. But at what cost here? Magma's dropping. Babbles comes in with a combo. The E's down, and the silences are coming out. The bound eye drops a buyback immediately from Magma's. Now, Reason Gaming needs to be careful not to dive too far. Magma's three man's down. Here we go with the mid finale. Vindicator in trouble. He has that back jump inside. He's trying to get out of here. He has a tablet coming up in one second. Can he use it in time? Will it matter? He does have it up. He's being patient, though. He gets stunned. He's probably going to fall here. Yeah, he goes down. And that was a case. Legion team diving a little too far. And Infor is also going to end up dropping, most likely, as he goes down. So the fight back is successful for Sync. It did take a couple buybacks, but it does work in the end. Uh, that marks was a big deal. Though. If he didn't get it off, that Magmus was not buying back. However, they are most likely going to lose this Congo. And this is the problem. Like You see a lot of teams, if, if they're scared um, of the enemy having buyback, they normally go for Congo because most teams won't really buy back for Congo, but they will buy back for defending their base and their racks. So, yeah, yeah it might have been maybe a risky play coming out from Reason, maybe like a little bit of an inexperience. They could have maybe just gone Congo and played it safe uh, after getting the pick off, but they chose to go to get the racks, but Magmus did. I think Kate about have to buy back as well. Oh. Well, you know, you were talking about it. Heroes being ulti based, like we were bringing up Hellbringer the other series about long yeah. ultimate. And Vindicator's out there with one of the longest ultimates in the game. It might yeah. even be, no, it's not the longest, but it's one of the longest. 160 seconds. Yeah, pretty long. It, when that's on cooldown, again, you want to be careful yep. when you're picking choose sure. your fights as you're getting at. So that's another reason why uh, perhaps did, the uh, did, coming out. Did Bumble did buy back as well, by the way? He did, did yes. Both him and Magnus yeah. spot back. Um, but yeah, like, that's what I mean. Like, you could have gone Congo. It would have been like maybe the safer play, but you know, in the end, it wasn't the biggest deal. Yeah, they lost Congo to Moonkin, which it could be a, like, 
quite a big difference for fair, but we'll have to see. Like, we saw that Vindicat doing so much work. Now he's got the health flyer as well, doing even more damage. I think they're going to have a, a tough time doing these team fights, but I definitely think it's not going to be the biggest of issues, actually, in the end. Like, this Vindicat, honestly, I, I'm in love. Like, this Vindicat is just so much work. <laughs> yeah, the, the da it's, and again, being it's something you got to really remember is the true damage aspect of his W. Yeah. It's true, meaning there's no mitigation. It is just that much damage coming out every auto attack. No matter insane. how much mitigation uh, you have. Why don't we see this Vindicat picks up more often? Because he's doing so much work. I like, mean, I want to yeah. say he's he, he's a yeah. medium pickup. He's not picked up all the time, but he's picked up here and there. Kind of more of a niche, I guess. But um, He's doing so much work. I remember when, like, uh, I think, oh, was it the Fire Rise used to pick up quite often? <laughs> I think that's when Z though, Zibby used to PFR. play this, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he have, yeah. So maybe this could be, maybe, maybe it could have been like Zibby saying, I'll give you Vindicat. Well, own, again, it made sense to get to the lineup that they're going against, like we talked about in the draft in the beginning. I mean, it's a very spammy kind of magic heavy team. Yeah. Vindicator's good against that. And, you know, I want to go back to your point earlier, too, about the Restoration Stone. And, I mean, he has a Hellflower now. Again, yes, yeah, he could keep the damage oh, route, true. but. Yeah. Yeah. Ten seconds of AOE yeah. silence is really strong. You have a scout that sure Not hasn't sure. had the biggest impact yet, but he's gonna start getting stronger and continue to get stronger and stronger. Pebbles is quite the presence. I don't know. I could I could definitely see it. Like especially after he's picked up the health flower, the sheep stick and the strong head. And I mean, I think it definitely could work. Um, and at the same time, we used to see Richard Hag actually pick up Restoration Stone. I know when, yeah. when Slay Green, I think Swindle was definitely a strong favorite. Actually, they're doing Rex here in the middle lane. Yeah, because they're pushing bottom, but obviously they need to stop that because, yeah, the racks are going to fall right here if they're not careful. Pebbles in the meantime, he gets gone on. Not a big deal. More ports oh, are coming speak. in. Oh, Pebbles, form his key on a Magnus right there. Disarm immediately. Zeal said it does not hit, but the melee racks goes down. No Vindicator ultimate used right here. Pebbles, though, he's kind of left alone. He's in trouble, actually. There's a Vindicator ultimate. They're going back in. <laughs> Engineer's going to get caught, excuse me, and he does end up oh, falling, so... Moving. They need to be careful. Mamuka with the flank. Here we go with Bombardier as well. The moon finale. A couple of bounces. Not the best, though. Vindicator is able to stand his ground for the most part. But now we get Sheep. Magnus does it. Vindicator is going to end up falling. And now Scout and Empath on the run. So the fight once again strong for Sink Esports. They did lose the melee racks. Actually, nice port out from Empath. Someone manages to get out of there. But Scout probably not going to be the same story uh, for him yeah. in the meantime. So. That's, I don't know. They got a melee racks, but they did lose Vindicator and does, Scout. Yeah, but Vindicator does have a buyback, though, so they should maybe be able to defend <laughs> racks. I don't know. Scout doesn't have a buyback, and they're fine. They're to token. They might actually lose racks in the end, but I think it was a right play coming out from uh, from Reason, though, because you saw uh, Zinc pushing all the way bottom. They had to get through a tier two as well as the racks, and Reason did the smart thing. They didn't want to take a team fight. They just went in for the racks as well. And one thing to point out, because um, Moon Queen's got tokens, she didn't have a TP to that fight. If only they could pick off, actually, um, a hero before Moon Queen got into the True, team fight, they yeah. would have been so better. They did take out Engineer in the end, but it just wasn't enough. Um, to really take the team fight with Moon Queen in, in the, with the Aegis. So yeah. we'll have to see if they're going to let this Rax fall or Vindicate's going to buy back. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, it's, it's one of those crazy, you're 20 seconds left, but no, he does. He does immediately. Scout is not, uh, well, he doesn't have one, so obviously there's no decision there. But yeah, the tower is dropping pretty quickly. But with the Vindicator buyback, you would think they're going to maybe try to make something happen. There we go. He chucks him in. Sheepstick on top. Oh, Can they put him down fast enough? And now he has a token, remember, but he's in a bad spot right here. Will the team support get there in time? Scout is now back up. There goes the Shrunken Heads. Magnus does it with the eruption. A lot of damage being spread around. Pebbles on to uh, Rhapsody in the meantime. He's going to live with the end of the field. Kind of pox him out, but they do kill Moon Queen. Oh. She was too far in there. And now the chase continues. Pebbles goes in. In comes our brain drain from Vindicator. The auto attacks are oh. so strong. As oh we keep God. going back to, they fall like flies. And that is a huge cleanup. And the courier yeah, ties as well. I think they're losing racks here. Zinc don't have buyback on the Engineer or the Rhapsody. It's only the Moon Queen. And I think, oh, Magnus might get picked off as well, actually. Ooh. In case just away in the end. No, look, I can't get stress this Vindicator pick even more. Like, think about it, right? They've got two ringers. And mm -hmm. to be fair, Reason probably arguably aren't the stronger team compared to Zinc, and yet they're absolutely, not absolutely dominating, but they are doing so much work. Like, you would not <laughs> expect this, and it just goes back to this Vindicator, simply. It, it keeps going, uh, I really find it funny too, how they still don't have the Gold or Experience lead. They still yeah. have not let in Gold Experience this whole game, yet it Oops. really does feel like they're the ones that have been in the advantage. Magma stuns in though, four man's done, in comes up on Barman, the air strike on top, a lot of damage, Vindicator's locked down, will it be locked in enough? No, he gets it, no, he has an ultimate, he's not using it though, he doesn't need it though, he's trying to run away, the sheep stick on the moon clear the tablet, not enough. He didn't ult that whole time. It might not have mattered in the end because they had already used abilities, but Pebbles also goes down. So the buybacks are successful. This time on Moon Queen, Hatrick comes out. It's just, it's a lot of back and forth at this, this point, man. This is a crazy game. This has to be insane. One. 
Like, I didn't think they would be able to really, like, actually hold it. Like, uh, Engineer and Rhapsody weren't up into... Well, they were eventually in the end of that team fight, but just really well played coming out from Mickey. Like, he survived on, like, 100 HP. And, like, so, such, such, such a big play. Like, if you can survive with that much HP, like, it's so frustrating for, for uh, your teammates as well. Like, you're getting so low, they might even make, like, a misplay, just try and finish you off. But uh, well played coming out from, from Mickey. That They defended the base, like, 3v5 in the end, and, and now they're pushing to, to get their own racks. Yeah. Uh, Vindicate doesn't have a, a buyback, so I think. Actually, no, <laughs> Nin4 TP. Nin4 TP. They might try and take oh, his racks. Oh, yeah, they're going to they're gonna pressure oh, them. They're going to force them to make a decision. Right? What do you do if you're sink? Oh, he ports back. No. Pebbles ports back immediately. I don't know about that. Why would you not stick around and make them make a decision at least? They're not Nifra, going to. I don't think Nifra's going to be able to take this right. Not, not even close. I don't, I don't know what he was thinking right there. That was still... Oh, well, okay. Vindicator, Vindicator, they are back. Yeah, Vindicator's back. So this is why Pebbles jumps in. He gets Bombardier, but not Moon Queen. There's the Vindicator ultimate. Do they have enough quick follow-up, though? Oh, in the meantime, yeah. Magnus gets stopped again. The, the Electric guy from Scout. It stops the eruption. Mickey's having so much trouble with that. Scout, in the meantime, though, he does go down. Oh, Running back, Rhapsody took him out again. The front lines are already being used. Now she's trying to run away. The brain drain cleaning up all the illusions right there. And now Rhapsody, she's taking some good damage with a lot of attacks. Pebbles jumps in. There's the energy field though. Pebbles in trouble. He's in a pretty deep spot right here. He might get the kill, but it's going to come at a cost. And Vindicator also gets picked off in the process. As the airstrike, oh, it's just going to miss right there. But I don't think, oh, he has a portal key. Yep. He's going to be able to use it in time, so he will survive. But okay. Oh, they, get the racks. they do get it. <laughs> the creeps do it. Oh man, this is crazy. Like, Vindicate is doing so much damage, but once he gets locked down, the team fight coming out from Legion is so much weaker. Like, we saw the damage come out from Vindicate, but I think Zinc have realized how strong this Vindicate is being. They, they focused and locked him down. They put Sheep Stick on him, they put everything on him. They need to take him down because he's doing so much work in these team fights. But a really well played from Reason. They got the, the racks top and mid when obviously they shouldn't have got either, really. Yeah. But um, well played coming out from them. They, they traded it. And, yeah, they lost their own set of racks mid, but. Um, they're definitely probably, although they're down in gold and XP, they're up <laughs> in, uh, in terms of in terms okay. of racks. They, they, they've been down in that this whole game, so why does that change now, right? So exactly, <laughs> um, yeah. But, but uh, Moonquist getting farmed awesome. though, man. Yeah, that's true. She's good. she's closing in on a, on a wing button. That's going to be a big difference. Like uh, Vindicate is nowhere near any type of savage maze, and the damage onto Moonquist being significantly less because this Vindicate is doing almost the most damage. Look at the look at the damage score right now, Breaky. Twenty one percent coming out from Jeez. Vindicate right now. Like and that's not that's just the damage. Like he's offering his ulti and, and everything else as well. Like he's doing so much work in, in, in these team fights as but just in the whole game all altogether. Um and, and once Vindicate gets locked down it's it's, it's just really the team fight coming out from Legion is just so much weaker. Uh, and I think he might even Need another defensive item. Like I know it sounds strange, but he'd like a hot ball. Uh, he's, he's can't, um, but Pebbles always got a uh, breastplate already. He needs some kind of tankiness because, like, as long as he's staying alive, he's doing tons and tons of damage. But uh, once he gets locked down, the team fight for Legion is just almost completely non-existent. Like Empath and Infora doing nothing. Yeah, Scout has a shrunken head, but he's only on like 180 GPM. And Pebbles, yeah, he does his combo, but after that, it's just not that much. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's the Vindicator. <laughs> all, they're all in on Vindicator, and that's why they need to keep him alive any way possible. Yeah, and now you've seen the shrunken heads even on Bombardier now. By the way, he also has a Restal Stone himself. I don't know if we talked about that yet, but oh, no. that was in the makings. But yeah, he has a Restal Stone. So now not only has, not only does Double skills, but I mean, double shrunk and head also very, very powerful too. Uh, in much of these fights, engineer energy field randomly right there. I don't know if he, uh, maybe they were TP, no, they weren't TP. I don't know. Anyways, might have been a misclick, whatever. It's on cooldown, not a big deal. Pretty short, but yeah, he has double uh, airstrike now and everything else mm. in the meantime as well, so. Yeah, going back to your resto stone point though, like in a sense that's going to be somewhat of a defensive item if you think about for Vindicate. Not only does it offer quite good stats, but that double ult is going to offer obviously kind of uh, defensive in the sense that the the offense will be lessened, obviously, because you know the less initiation coming out from the Hellborn side will hopefully um, increase this Vindicator's uh, survival odds. So, I mean, uh, rest of time would be actually as bad as as I said before, actually. Yeah. Um, down to the circumstances, actually. So, if he does pick it up, it's you know it's definitely a possibility, um, and wouldn't be as bad as as I thought, to be honest. Yeah, and again, it's it, it is a decent damage build up. It is the Arcanus, yeah. obviously, not too bad. Plus, the orb increases all stats, so. Not two chef or not plus or a sustainer even itself. And uh, but, and uh, I think I think I mentioned before like how um when you know when Hag we used to see Hag like 24/7 like the perfect or the the most cookie cutter build on her would be like you know uh, Hellflower, Sheepstick, Shrunken, and then Resto Stone. Yeah. 
Um, so it, it's kind of the same here, I guess, because obviously he's got the shrunken and the sheep and um, and the hell flat, and arguably he's got a better ultimate than Hag as well in terms of team fight. Mm -hmm. So I mean, the Resto could could definitely work here, to be honest. Like I, I go back on what I said, I think Resto could be quite a good pickup actually. Now we think. Well, about again, it. We're, we're talking about it, but honestly, he's he's used two buybacks. It's been a lot of gold spent into that, yeah. so he only has 1,900 gold right now. It's a long way from whatever he's going to be building next. At this point, and it's hard to get efficient farm right now, obviously, too. Oh, so. perfect pick up from Nymph for Storm Spirit. Like I said, they need to keep this Vindicator alive, and Storm Spirit is going to be perfect counter initiation, actually. As long as this Vindicator is alive, I'm pretty sure Legion are going to come out ahead in terms of the team fights. Although, Moon Queen has finished a wing bar right now, and I think um, Savage might be the pick up from Vindicator, actually. Uh, because this Moon Queen's not going to be dropping. That's uh, interesting with that, with that pick. I mean, he has an Arcana on him, too. He's had that for a while, so. Maybe just a change of heart, I guess. Maybe. Um, although, the, the only way they can really maybe kill this uh, Moon Queen is if they get like, a, a perfect initiation with Sheepstick onto Moon Queen. Obviously, Sheepstick um, destroys or gets rid of the evasion coming out from the wing bow. So, as well as obviously making sure... Oh, yeah, he, yeah perfect pickup from Pebbles, actually. Another Sheepstick. Mm -hmm. um, this will hopefully ensure... And they rebuys buys for Shungan. Yeah, and, okay. Actually. Interesting. Uh, which, is, which is fine as well. Like I said defensive item and obviously a longer cooldown. Well, I wonder... What's, uh, was it down to five seconds already? I guess it could have been. Mm, I didn't check, but Even it must so, have been low. I guess, yeah. Even if it's it like was seven. very low regardless, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think the double sheep to get actually a really good pick up here from from the pebbles because, like this Moon Queen, obviously is going to be doing the main amount of damage now. It's getting into the late game. It's, it's doing quite a lot of damage. 300 per auto attack, and after Magmus does his eruption, he's not going to be offering that much. Yeah. Anyway, as well as um, Bombardier, because they have got shrunkens and stuff now. Uh, so as long as they can get this Moon Queen down uh, with some sheep sticks, it's sort of the similar situation actually. The initiation for both teams is going to be just shut down the carry uh, before they can get anything off and, and win the team fight in that sense. Mm -hmm. 2200 gold on Scout. I mean, he he's he is being a nuisance here. He's constantly pushing yeah. in that top lane. He's constantly forcing his sink at least to somewhat pay attention to that. And they've had to do it a couple times now, so that's where Super KG is definitely accomplishing a mission. But in the meantime, here we go with Congor. But this is not going to be a free Congor by any means. No oh, way. They know what's up. And Pebbles has an invis here. He's going to keep them scared, if anything. I mean, Moonquist the only one in there. She's just going to bait them out, if anything. No, I'm going to fall back now. Oh, Scout. Pebbles, oh, is nice. he going? No. Do they have a bound die? They do. Yeah, Magmus has that bound die. They need to get rid of this. Yeah, they need to get rid of this ward. Like, oh, Magmus. There we go. Pebbles jumps in. Three man's done coming out. Sheep's a gun to Magmus right here. In the meantime, Vindicator ultimate comes out as well. Energy field is already down, but the follow-up not enough to kill Magmus. The Legion team now on the run. Scott, in the meantime, he gets sheeped. He's back up and good to go. But now Pebbles in a bad spot. The Hellboy team fighting back. So again, they do not have a Vindicator ultimate now. And this is a time for the Hellboy team to shine. Magmus stuns in. But his oh, team Magmus. didn't really go with him. Magmus in trouble. He's oh. going to fall. Oh, oh, miscommunication big yeah. time. Yeah, I, I, that's something I would not expect from Zing. I thought they were playing that perfectly. I thought they were going to actually take out the Pebbles. But the rest of the Zing team weren't following. I think actually Mika had the right intention right there. Pebbles was cut off completely from his team. As long as uh, Zing could rotate down with the Magmus, I think they could have secured the Pebbles kill. In, instead, it was Reason who rotated over and they got the Magmus kill instead. And now they might be able to secure Conger actually. Might even be able to get a few kills actually. You see how it's oh, coming. Moon Queen. Moon Queen's in trouble. She is big time in trouble. Shrunken Whoa. goes off. She's going to try to hold her ground right here. No Buyback's coming out, Scott in the background. He's going to be caught on the move. Finale just takes him down, but the numbers still looking pretty good for the Legion. Oh, drop it oh. fast on the Moon Queen. Barely protect the Melody in time. She's somehow stayed alive, just barely the outskirts. Oh, oh the auto oh. attack goes off, though. Vindicator got it off, gets the kill. Rhapsody, Foy, Talisman. He's going to keep her alive. Barely, not for long, though. Yeah, she buys back immediately, though. That is her last buyback. They do not want to give up this Congor, but can't, I mean, can they defend here? I, I don't think they can. I think Legion can get this. Like they don't. They need the initiation coming out from Magnus. God, that is so much damage. Airstrike comes out. He's just trying to scare them, but that's not going to happen. He has a Restil Stone, remember. There goes Congra, though. Token alive, picked up by Vindicator. And now Bombardier gets caught. Probus gets it. Oh, he gets tabbed oh. into that. He got tabbed into the Congor pit. It might not matter, though. Nymph 4 is actually going to fall. The Shrunken Head is up and wearing off right there. Pebbles going back. And there's a Restil Stone from Bombardier. He's trying to live, but no, the lockdown. It was just too much to handle. This is so good for Breeze right now. I said before that Vindicate's issue is, is his protection and his, and his sort of survivability, but with this token, he can man up as much as he wants. They can go bang on this bottom lane racks and get Mega Creeps because they are not initiating on this Vindicate because he's going to come back up and do even more damage. Like, this is going to be a really, really tough situation for, for Zinc right now. They've, the only real um, 
sort of game plan initiation they wanted for this Vindicator was to sort of make sure kill him off before the team fight even starts. But now with Token, this is going to be so hard for Zinc to win a team fight. Yeah, and Scout, you know, despite him dying right there, right off the bat, he was a big distraction. Definitely got a lot used by the yeah. Hellborn team on top of him, and obviously that kind of opened it up for reason. Came to take care of it. Again, those auto attacks, man. At years, right? <laughs> You've been talking about Inside. it. Inside, we're just seeing it more and more. Vindicator, just damage of his right clicks is just absurd. But he has 3,600 gold saved up now. Um, again, he has no buyback, so. But it, it's your, your inventory is full at this point. Yeah. Let's want to maybe sell a tablet here, but. I think it's got, it's got to be Savage or Presto Stone. Like, like Savage obviously to, to nullify uh, Moon Queen's evasion or Presto Stone for like the double ulti, the double Sheepstick, the double Health Lair and the double Shrunken. I see a lot uh, of suggestions going on. I mean, from, from Symbol of Rage to Behemoth. Like, no one really yeah. knows like where to go with this. But it's like, to be fair, I think, I think, because in, with, I think Vindicator is almost similar in the sense how you'd build Hag. Like, you could, you can go two ways. You can go similar rage because obviously he doesn't have an, an orb effect, or you could go si um, rest of stone in the sense that uh, hags used to go rest of stone because they had you know, the, the sheep stick and the hellfire. He's just sold his tablet though, so we'll have to, we'll find out now what he's gonna go. Yeah. Oh, 5,200 gold. I mean, that's that is I'm, enough I'm for resto. Savage, <laughs> that's what I'm he's saying. I'm saying savage. I'm being savage. savage. Yeah. I think he has to because the wing bow fact, yeah, like symbol will be nice and all, and that will definitely add to his survivability, but. It's, I don't know, I think you could go Symbol or Savage. I just think what about like he's a good Jiro? I mean, it's yeah, like kind of a savage, mix. Him. Okay, yeah, yeah there you savage. go. I just think like, it's almost like, oh, I'm going to kill you before you kill me sort of deal. Um, and, and Moon Queen's going and going Symbol himself. And I don't know, I just think getting that burst off, like they've got the good Sheep Stick and they just think he just needs damage now. Like he's got the strong head, so Magmus, Engineer, Bombardier and Rhapsody aren't going to be doing anything to him as long as that strong head is up. He just needs to burst damage to, to kill the Moon Queen before she gets up uh, and to do anything in the team fights. <laughs> oh, mines, mines, mines! What are the mines? Oh, oh and well played by Adro. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think that would have killed him, but yeah. Um, definitely. Don't. Yeah, just well played coming out from Adro, quick fingers. It's good to go. Yeah, a couple of Storm Spirits here. You talked about how big that is to have, so uh, yeah. yeah, it's a uh, really good. A lot of mitigation. 15 seconds uh, left on the restoration stuff for Bombardier, so. That's going to be up yeah. here. This is going to be the death push. If if um, if Reason win this team fight, this is definitely GG. Oh yeah, yeah. They already have obviously top and tail taken care of. It is. It's and crazy action, and now we're we got a great finish like this. So. And Savage obviously just allows him to catch yep. right to the tower without any misses and stuff. So it's just it's just overall good item. Moon Queen gonna send out her illusions to do her bidding right here, kind of clean up the creep move as much as possible. I think Pebbles needs to stay a little bit back though. He can't get initiated on. Just let Vindicator do all the damage onto the tower. Just be ready to initiate. Yeah. Like if, if Pebbles, but that, Zinc would definitely prefer to, to jump exactly. on uh, Pebbles. I, I think, yeah, that's yeah. where it's like I almost think they want that to happen because Vindicator yeah, not exactly. only that would be him being jumped, but also he has that ultimate to be like, out, I'm yeah. just going to ulti and then you guys are screwed. So, ooh. Yeah, it's fine. Just wait for the creeps and just kill this tower. Like It's pretty low already. It's a couple of hits. It's going to be a tower kill here. You see Marksman shot again going out, just putting some good damage in there. And, so, yeah, like, Reason is playing now, the safe. Now, if, if Pebbles finds a good initiation, preferably on the Moon Queen. Like Moon Queen is playing quite far up as well, actually. Like they could probably just go in now, shoot the Moon Queen, and initiate. I mean, yeah, they're, they're occupying the top lane. I think this is the time they want to go. If anything, Pebbles always oh, misses Moon Queen, but it gets wrapped into Sheepstick though on a Moon Queen. Big tablet support though coming out from the Hellborn team. Gonna be fine. No Vindicator ultimate used just yet. Here we go with Moon Finale. Big center from the eruption from Madness right there. Vindicator's locked down. He has a token gonna come back up. Expect that ultimate to be used as soon as possible. Protect the ability to cancel immediately. Vindicator's still not ulting. Finally gets it off, but the damage has already been done. Vindicator goes down. A double tap for Keizu when it's all said and done. And Sync Esports gets the hold that they're looking for. Yeah, really, really well played there. Just a slight bad initiation coming out from Probus was all uh, Mickey needed to initiate back onto the, the the reason side. And like you saw, they they got down Vindicator. Oh. Uh, Look at this, oh, they're no. racing. Post no. they're going for the win. No buybacks. This might be it. Saint Rox is the only one up. I think Sync just GD'd. What a decision on their oh. part. They just buy mass post haste. Oh, they go boy. in, and this oh. is it. This is good game. Sync wins. Wow. wow, what a finish. I mean, Reason had this game. They really did. Oh, wow. Well, wow. Just wow. Honestly, that was insane. Finish. That was a hell of a finish wow. right there. Sink, yeah, it's like I was on the board with you. I'm like, okay, now let's talk about uh, what's going to happen now and how Sink's going to defend, but wow. what can they do? But all of a sudden, post haste, end game. Bam. There you go. Wow. Like, 
that one bad like miss stun by like, almost an inch. <laughs> yep. Like it wasn't just the pebble stun though as well. Like with um, with Vindicator not getting his ulti off before he died first time. Yeah, he came back up and then used it, but by that time Pebbles was already dead, Scout was already dead, uh, and and that split second difference in terms of initiation can be the difference. But well play coming up from Zinc though. But wow, Woods reason quite unlucky in that game. I thought that was GG for for reason, but in the end, such turnaround. But overall, great game. I'm looking forward to game two already. Again, I didn't 100% pay attention to the very very finish there, but. <laughs> It, I, it's crazy because I'm pretty sure I'm mean, looking at the six minutes right now. I mean, barely, it looks like Sink or Reason was barely able to get like, someone of a goalie near the end there. But at that point, it's like, does it even matter really if it's that minimal? But yeah. my point is that despite Reason Gaming feeling like they, they were the ones in the advantage and it 